All right, here we are. We're down at the Lucas site again. We got Grizzly Adams. <laughs> yeah. We got Slabomatic here and Bucking. And here we are cutting into about a 36, 38 foot inch piece of maple from beautiful yep. Vancouver Island. Beautiful Vancouver Island maple, farm maple. Yeah, there was a house construction and there's big maple. Wasn't a good scenario. Troy happened to be driving by. He stopped and asked the guy they were going to cut it into firewood. And Troy stopped him. Thank goodness he did. Over and out. Wood is good. This is a big log. This is about a three foot maple. Look at this. This is gonna have brown stain right through the middle. Look at this. I would think so, yeah. Here we go, whoopsie daisies. What's behind door number five? Up she comes. Ooh. Oh, she's still pretty crotchy. Crotchety. Little stump pulled down at the bottom there. Cut that right yes, off. We didn't hit nothing. That is a big slab of wood. Big slab of wood. About 13 feet long, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just don't give a shit. <laughs> hey, that's gonna be a G note. Pretty nice. I don't know where we're gonna put it. We have the back right here. Oh. Yeah, you go around the front, try no? Time to drive a wedge home. Yeah, she's gonna start to mash out now pretty quick. There she goes. I just pound it till it won't pound no more. Till it breaks. You can almost tell by the sound of it. It's done. Then, to make sure, get the BFG out. Yep, that's what I do. Here we go. The Road Warrior lives. Then, once I get that, then I'll show you guys how I burn the handles. See, there's no finish on this, which is nice. You notice that? Doesn't look like there is. Might be a little bit. Clear lacking, maybe? Yeah, there is probably, yeah. Well, I got a fix for that. Because... Yeah,
Are you ready for some fire, Victor? I'm ready. I don't know how much fire I got left in this thing. Burning's a handle. This is a handle I bought at the store, a local saw shop, because it had good grain orientation and it's hickory. And I can make, I don't like the look of these white handles, I just don't like it. grain jumps out like that when you burn it see the grain just jumps right out much nicer than a plain hand look at that beautiful grain up at the end bit Isn't that nice oh yeah i love it see that look at that boom 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 so that's why i like to burn my handles because the grain jumps out and it looks old school after you get the put a beautiful bit of um, you know whatever boiled linseed if you like i just throw watco oil on there danish oil Anything that the wood's going to suck up and protect itself. Victor uses old motor oil. That's what that's what Victor uses, old motor oil. And that works just fine. But isn't that a nice look? So that's that's what we do with those, everybody. It's no, not brain science. But I would much more use that than I would that. Oh, for sure. Wouldn't you, Victor? Look Especially at Especially with an old axe head like that. Yeah, look at it that. It just looks proper. Yeah. Just come right down on top of that now, look, because those lights are better than this. You just don't it for the same sense. Yeah, you like that. Just like that. Just a regular old little blowtorch. And you can, the beautiful thing is, is you can, you can, if you burn it a little too much in one area, look at how that grain jumps out right there, Vic. See that right there? Yep. Isn't that nice how that grain just yeah. jumps out? A white, a few vice can, marks. Watch this. Right here, watch this. You can this. see a little of the grain there. Yeah, you can see a little bit, but not much. This is the beautiful thing about burning your handles, is the grain jumps out. Look at that grain. Look at that. Just beautifully appear there now. Run out of sauce here pretty quick. Yep. Yeah. I might be out of jam. Good thing I. Doesn't that look nice? That's what I like. Just like that. Lay it thick. Don't worry about it. The wood's going to drink it. Now the wood, the, the road warrior axe is ready to roll again. These handles actually are surprisingly not bad. I chipped a little piece off the handle when I was smacking it on the ground. I think I'll take that off and clean that up. I'll shampoo that. Character. Yep, that's all it is, buddy. Don't hurt my feelings. Don't hurt my feelings at all. she be character victor character a little hit of the watka oh yeah done so that's kind of that's what i do to my axes pretty much it sometimes i burn them a little more sometimes i burn them a little less depending but look at how nice that looks that's probably that uh yeah or or some pitch boiling out yeah what i mean so that's kind of that. Quick and easy. Ready for service.
rough it up a bit, give it something to... I like these handles because they're thin, Victor. Look at how thin that is. Yeah. You get I some, don't like a big, thick handle. Some handles are so thick you can't even wrap your paws around it. Yeah, double bit's got a nice... See, that's a nice feel. That, that's a real nice feel. Yep. Double bit. The Road Warrior's back in action. We'll give her a swing there tomorrow. Over and out. Hey, everybody. Good news. How are we doing? Thanks. Welcome to Buck and Billy Race. Uh, remember this thing? Remember my first axe handle I made out of the oak and I was concerned about that strip in it. It had the, it had the, the, the bust in the, in the shaft, you know, in the handle. Well, it did. It had a broken in there. I got a lot of use out of it, but uh, it, it had it. It had enough and it broke. So I made another handle the other night. Or not made one. I bought one. It was, it was actually a beauty. The, uh, I smacked it on the, you can't really see the grain orientation, but it, actually it's on the previous video. That's right too. Yeah, you've already seen it. I'm probably showing it to you right now. Um, there's something about this ax head. Okay, it's beat to rat. You know what? I don't like swearing on YouTube anyways. This is a family channel. <laughs> um, so I slapped this handle together down at the local hardware store. Good hickory, burnt it. You guys saw me burning it there. I like my handles burnt. And uh, you know what? There, there's something about, I don't know what it is. I, I almost, I should have turned the camera on a little sooner. I, I busted up a bunch of this wood already. But uh, man, oh man, it, it's, a, it's a great. Here, I'll just, I'll just toss a couple of these out here. Really nice ergonomic feel. You know what I mean? It just like I'm not putting a bunch of bunch of power on this. It just has a good heavy heavy weight to it. Listen, I I I'm a real advocate of the double bitted axes. They're they're a multifaceted tool. You can throw wood around because it's sharp enough to grab wood, and you can swing the wood around almost like a. Uh, uh, what do you call it there? Those pickaroons. It's almost like a multi-faceted tool. You know, it sticks to the wood, so if you want to stand your wood up, you don't have to really bend right over. You can just use the axe. So, I'm pretty tickled with it. I mean, I love a double bit, but some double bits are created a little differently. And this one definitely is. It definitely is. See that? Yeah, it's nice straight wood, but it's just got such a good heavy head on it. This one's quite naughty, but it still seems to find its way. You know? I like it. So the Road Warrior, the Road Warrior's back in business. And don't forget about the flick guys and gals don't forget about the flick when you're splitting your wood there we go use that flick some of this stuff's got the big knots in there look at that you know I mean I Man, that's a nice axe head. Nice dry fur, nice straight grain. It's all about picking your wood. This was free, but I grabbed it on a tree job. So, but anyways, this old axe, I don't know why. I think uh, Victor had a look at it. He knows a little bit about metal, Victor. He's been playing around with metal for a few years and he figures it's hand forged and old, really old. I don't know much about the process of, of the hand forging metal and all that stuff. I just know that this, for some reason, this axe head, and it's 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 right down my alley. It's busted up and ugly. And look at it's even got a tear in the metal a bit there. That I that I actually here. Let's put it in the light. You know what I mean? Look at it. You see? 
it's like it's got like this this I don't know what 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 it is but it it's mean see there's another like a I don't know I file those down you see but she sat really nice on the head you know but look at it, it's all like pitted and old and you see you can almost see where it, I don't know it's hard to explain but it's it's heavier than hell you know for a double bed a small double bed head the head is small look compared to my others you know like look compared to these where's where's another one I mean it's it's I don't know here's another double bed here this here's just a regular I think this is the black prince this one or is it yeah this is the um this is the black prince actually the true temper look at the size difference that's another beautiful handle you know that, that's that's quite a difference in size it's it's the same length but it's thinner narrower which tells me it might be a fallen axe you know what i mean there's my fallen axe up there up behind the mccullough see that one there that black one it's it's a, it's uh thin and skinny and a couple of fallen axes there actually you know, that one definitely is a fallen axe. So, yeah. Um, just, a, just a nice nice axe head. A really nice axe head. Old and beat up and busted. Kind of like me. I like them like that. So there's my three working axes right there. My three... I got another one somewhere. And I don't know where the hell it is. But it's another... I probably hit it. Me. I probably... Yeah, I do. I got something hid here maybe. What the hell is that? What is that? What's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. What is this? Oh, this is... Oh, this is my wall hanger. Oh, this is my... Yeah, what am I doing? Crazy bugger bucking. What am I doing? I put that back. That's a Swedish axe, that one. Halton. Halton 4, that one. But for some reason, I'm missing... Oh, no, that... that I thought... I thought I had another one there, but I guess that was it. No, that was it. Yeah. That was her. Yeah. Good. Okay. We go back to the mill. Over and out.